Hi guys, I want to share some sunscreens that are safe for you and our environment because, well, we all enjoy a little bit of sunshine any time of the year. Hanging out on the beach, snorkeling, diving, surfing, whatever you like to do, we always remember to slather that sunscreen on before leaving the door because we definitely want to spend the day having fun, not feeling worried, right? But did you know that most popular sun protections contain toxic or even cancerous chemicals? Not just harming you, but the marine life too. Whether you're taking a dive in the ocean or spending the day on land, these toxins will find their way into our aquatic systems. How so? Well, when you wash your face, product and water gets carried out by the pipes eventually making their way to the ocean. So. If you want to enjoy these magical underwater worlds, let me show you some products that would be safe for you and our beautiful sea. For everyday wear, I like to use the coconut oil, the kind I cook with. Make sure it's labeled unrefined because the process of refining uses high heat and bleaching that will reduce the beneficial properties. You can also use jojoba oil or kukui nut oil, which is my favorite because it doesn't go on as greasy. In Hawaii, we came across this man and he was pressing this oil by hand. And those black beads you're seeing are the kukui nuts. You might be able to find kukui nut oils in general at your local health food store or on Amazon. Be sure the label does say is 100% kukui nut. Nut oils naturally contain sunscreen properties and antioxidants to prevent wrinkles. So if you ever come across some fresh coconut water, grab them because they are so nutritious and hydrating for your skin. This guy that just cut my coconuts, he actually climbed the coconut palm to pick them. Of course I have to grab a couple to go. If you're looking for something with a more matte finish, I found this SPF 15 sunscreen on Etsy by Fleur Hardy Naturals. Uh, I really like the ingredients that she used in here, especially with the zinc oxide as um, the ingredient for, um, for sun, as a sunscreen. Zinc oxide is the safest ingredient that you can find on the market today for protecting um, you know your skin from the UV rays so um, yeah definitely look for a zinc oxide on the labels or in the ingredients for any products that you use instead of titanium dioxide or any kind of weird names that I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah so zinc oxide and that it is a nan nano particles which means I mean when you put something on like for protecting your skin especially you just want it to sit and like coat your skin and protect it right you don't want it to to like absorb into your skin into your cells and penetrating your your bloodstreams especially for lip sunscreens you don't want to be eating the the microscopic which is called the nanoparticles into your intestines so just a little bit goes a long way. Unlike most cosmetic SPF, this actually sits on your skin. That's why it has that uh, pale finish as you can see the contrast on my hands. Here's one with a higher SPF 30. You can use this if you're out in the sun all day. It's tinted also so it's great to help balance your skin tone. I used this throughout my trip and it worked really well. By the way, all the products I showed you in this video are GMO free. Aside from these, I also found some other sunscreens at my local health food store, so you guys can check out the ones near you or online, like even on Amazon should carry these. By using products that are safe, you're doing something good for the long-term health of you and the marine life. If you guys have any questions or recommendations on products, please share with all of us in the comments below. Oh, also, there's a really good environmental health website that you can look up ingredients on skincare products and it'll tell you if they're safe. I'll leave that website along with um, links to other articles that I found on this topic for you in the description box. Last but not least, I, on behalf of our ocean friends, want to say thank you so much for watching. If you find this video to be helpful and would like more tips on how to live more eco-friendly, Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you back here on the next video. Bye!